Plantex Vodcast, episode 18, recap. Great new hires joining the Plantex staff with phenomenal knowledge on merchandising as well as logistics, products being shipped out from that distribution center in San Diego throughout North America. Just shows you how quickly this industry is expanding in Plantex. Today we have uh, Jose Abo joining us from Panama, sitting on the board, bringing in more and more compliance because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, to make sure that uh, everybody's investments are well taken care of and that the company keeps growing. On that note, Jose, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sean. It's great to be here. I take it, uh, black some milk and from time to time, you know, maybe called Splenda. But that's only when, when I when I can find it in the hotels where I stay, when I travel. You know, we have the Geisha coffee, which is very famous in Panama. Uh, I was a chairman of the Sony Wealth Fund of Panama for about eight years. And I was recently re reappointed again to become director of the fund. You know, the Sony Wealth Fund of Panama is a, is a fund that manages $1.4 billion in assets, which are owned by the state of Panama. It's, these are the savings of, of the country. Since I was uh, in college, 1987, I started then, you know, I started teaching people how to invest in the stock market. I started to advise people on how to manage the portfolios. I wrote two books about the subject, you know, and eventually uh, it got me to work uh, into a lot of important uh, multinationals, uh, private banking firms, and then came uh, the Sun Wealth Fund of Panama. That's in, in a nutshell, you know, the 34 years experience <laughs> that I gathered from 1987 to today. I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was 10 years old. So I was I was taken to, it's called Jocelyn Clinic in Boston. And one of the things that told me then was you have to be very careful about the type of food you eat. I mean, you can eat with a normal diet, with a controlled diet and all that, but you know, just be a little bit careful about the red meat and all these things that might affect your cholesterol, you know, because when somebody is diabetic, you have to take care of having control of things that might damage you. By the time I was 15, 16 years old, I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna have any more red, red meat. I'm, I'm, you know, I wouldn't say that 100%, but I would say that maybe 80% of the stuff that I eat nowadays is more into plant-based type of stuff than, you know, the, the common food that we all always eat with the meats and all that. Back then we didn't have companies like Plan X, but well, obviously nowadays with the technologies and all that, we have this industry growing and, and growing very interestingly. You have an expectation of this becoming a market of maybe $24 billion in, in a few years from now. And now right now in the US, I understand it's $5 billion. I mean, it's a very exciting business to be in right now. And, and not only because it's a business itself, but, but because it's also an idea, a concept, making already our life healthier. And also it becomes like more, more reachable to some people that don't have the access to this type of food because they live in, in, in poor countries and they don't have access to that. But eventually it's gonna be massified the same way that, you know, look at Tesla, what happened with Tesla nowadays. I mean, they, they become with this idea, with this technology, with things that some, some people sometimes say that it's impossible. But when they tell you it's impossible, that's when you, you get the great things that you have in life. And, and, and one of these things are, you know, when, when people were, were working on, call it artificial meat. I mean, it's no longer artificial meat, it's, it's plant-based. Everything that is plant-based is the advancement of technology and food technology. I'm a lot into the, the, the governance and transparency and compliance stuff when dealing with boards. Obviously, this is very important nowadays because, you know, companies are not only mentioned nowadays because of the money they make or the revenues they can generate, but how, how respectful these boards are with all these things that now, you know, make a company be part of the what they call the ESG, the, the companies that follow this type of, uh, of, I would say, rules that you need to work on. And obviously, this raises the credibility of a company when somebody that you know has the experience to manage these type of things is following through and making sure that these things are done the way they should be done. The reason why Plantex was started originally was out of the idea of giving people a longer, healthier, better quality of life on the planet. And we already see the changes with people being affected uh, by COVID. And, uh, you know, that I believe started this whole shift in our world that started beginning in March 2020. And we just see that accelerating. So again, you know, thank you. Please 
recommend this video to your friends, family, anyone you know that you could think of that would love to follow the story or become a customer. And at the end of the day, what is Plantex all about? It's your one-stop shop for everything plant-based. Till next week, stay curious, stay planted, stay healthy. Cheers.